Hey guys, it's Rich, our Gemini Timber Frame Company, Main Timber Framer. Been working on the Woodmiser MP360, uh, changing over from j just doing the standard S4S. Now I'm going to be doing some shiplap. I tried a couple things on uh, some big cutter heads. Uh, didn't work out. My knives aren't quite right. I'll get that fixed. So I went and changed out and put the, uh, the shiplap cutters in the small cutter heads. And I've run a piece through for verification. It looks pretty good, but I want to run a piece show you my verification process and show you how I'm documenting the shim setup so next time I run uh, I'll be able to replicate the process. All right so without a lot of ado I'm going to start the machine up then I'll grab the camera. Alright, this is what we got. We just ran the board through. Let me grab my vernier calipers. Yeah, let me grab my vernier calipers. And I've got a book I want to review what's going on uh, with my shim setup. So I've got a little handy dandy book here. And now I've got to grab my vernier calipers, which are right here. And let's take a look at the piece we ran through. So uh, could use another set of hands here. But we're going to set it up like this. We're going to validate we're at about zero, zero. So first thing we want to do is we're running this down to three quarters of an inch. So if we look at it over here, how are we looking? Well, that's not too shabby. It's supposed to be 750, but 752, I think we can live with that. So we got the, the width is just about perfect. Now what we're really concerned about is how high is the ship lap and is it the same so the ship lap we wanted at the halfway point so we want that at 375 so let's uh let's see what we can do here to to bring this down touch off and try to get that again here we'll go in the middle of the board and we're going to bring it down we're going to touch off where are we we're at 369, so that's not too shabby. It's supposed to be at 375, so we're about seven thousands off. And we could play with that, three, 368, so uh, not too shabby. Let's flip around the other side because both sides are different, and you've got to set up your cutters accordingly. So let's see what we got here. How about we touch off there? There we go. And we're at 362. So we're a hair off on that one a little more. 367, supposed to be 375. So in the big scheme of things, we're pretty doggone close to having a near perfect shiplap board. Now, with this machine, how to get your height adjustments, you've got to use a shim pack. So this is what I'm doing is I put together this little sheet here. I'll probably put one on uh, on Excel or something and do this. But what I've done is you know, your top right cutter, this is the orientation you want. This is the shim pack. I've got five different shims in there. So that way, when I go to do this again, I'll use the same shims uh, and I'll make sure that I get the same height. And over here, same thing on the left side. This is the left cutter orientation on the head. This is the shim pack. 
This is where the right fence needs to be about a 16th. The left side, rough width, I figured it out to be about uh, 1875. So whatever the rough width is, pick a number uh, 5, subtract 1875, and that's what you're going to get for uh, where you want to set your movable head. So I've got this information documented, and I just wanted to share that as you document these processes, that you'll be able to replicate them without having to figure them out every time. All right, thought I'd share that. Give me some feedback, click like and subscribe. Also, I want to say thanks to the guys that gave me some feedback on my cutter head experiment with the, uh, the four inch head. So thanks for that too.